the actual formula says cosine theta equals V times W over magnitude V magnitude W. So essentially, in order to find the angle between two vectors, V and W, you take the dot product of V and W, which will be a scalar, and you divide by the product of the magnitudes of each vector. Again, the magnitudes will each be scalars. That's a scalar, that's a scalar, so you'll end up getting a number. Then take the cosine inverse to get the theta you want. It's a little bit bizarre formula, but you can use it. If you want to practice with it, I would suggest, since we just did several problems, go back, use the vectors v and w that we did, plug them into the formula, and see what you get. The one thing I would stress is, this formula works using the angles from the horizontal, meaning the vector we just did over here was negative 2, 4. And when we drew our triangle, we used the reference angle and found the reference angle here. This formula uses angles from the horizontal, which means you have to use that right there. So just be aware of that. Okay? But, well, maybe really quickly, because we have one minute left on this video. Cosine theta equals V times W over magnitude V magnitude W. Well, we started by saying it, turn, it looked like if I had two vectors that had right angles, the dot product was zero, and would that always be true? But this formula gives me the angle between vectors. So let's see. If the angle between the vectors is a right angle, that's a 90 degree angle, then what's cosine of 90? Well, cosine of 90 equals zero. Which means, if the angle between them is 90 degrees, this has to be zero. The only way this fraction is zero, is if the dot product is zero. Which means, what we said at the beginning, has to be true. If the dot product is zero, then the, then the vectors are perpendicular. The interesting thing is then to try to say, well, what if you have parallel vectors? If you have two parallel vectors, say one like this and one like this, what's the angle between them? Well, the angle between them is zero. So then if theta is zero, cosine of zero would be one, which means this thing would have to be one. So if you're looking at two vectors, if the dot product is zero, then they're perpendicular. There's a right angle between them. If this fraction turns out to be 1, then your vectors are parallel. So this kind of ties in really well with all the stuff you learned in 171. That should give you enough to actually do all the work we're going to do with vectors. Your book also mentions uh, vector projections and all of that. We're not going to bother with that, so don't worry about it.